Okay, so I'd, I'd like, like to, to read, read the back of this DVD just to tell you what this movie is about. Also to show you the monumental screw up they did. Okay, so the back of this DVD reads, Langdon teams up with Sienna Brooks, a doctor he hopes will help him recover his memories. Together they race across Europe and against the clock to stop a virus that would wipe out half of the world's population. Clock to stop a virus that would wipe out half of the world's population. I didn't, that's not me stuttering, that's not me reading, That that's genuinely on the back of the DVD cover. How do you screw up that badly? Oh my God. Dante's Inferno isn't fiction, it's a prophecy. Someone created a plague. Our population is spiraling out of control. Inferno is the cure. They're gonna wipe out half the world's population unless we find this virus. Inferno is the third movie in the Robert Langdon trilogy, directed by Ron Howard, starring Tom Hanks and Felicity Jones and Ben Foster and Omar C. So Tom Hanks is once again Professor Langdon, and he wakes up in a hospital with like a head trauma, he doesn't quite remember the last two days, and he ends up being put with this doctor, Sian, like played by Felicity Jones, and they're on the run, They like he wakes up and he finds that he's on the run from the police and he's in Florence but he doesn't remember how he got there or why he's there, he's just there and he's on the run and he's got to solve this mystery involving a virus that may or may not be released at the end of the day. Inferno I think is, it, it's weird because I reckon Angels and Demons is my, my favourite out of the, that trilogy but then again that's only just an okay movie. And then between the Da Vinci Code and Inferno, I'm probably going to have to say Inferno is the worst here. I mean, Tom Hanks and Felicity Jones, they really try. They really do. They uh, they try. You see their acting. Tom Hanks is like, I'm going to solve this. It's like the third time he's done this. He knows what he's doing. And Felicity Jones is like, I'm here with Tom Hanks. Don't forget about me. I also find it's weird in Florence, in this movie, how you run across so many non-Italian people. I'd also like to say the locations of the movie are nice. They go to like, uh, Venice, and Italy, and Istanbul, and occasionally in the old flashback, Cambridge University. Terrific place. Everyone says so. Anyway, those locations, they're just nice and beautiful to look at, and it's something that you can appreciate about these locations, that the film constantly kind of points out and it kind of distracts you from the poor narrative. One thing I realized watching this movie is that Inferno follows the same narrative structure as every Robert Langdon movie in the in the trilogy and if the point is you, you look he goes to some place in Europe because he's finding trying to find some artifact and he's in like somehow like on the run from police or government force and then there's like a, a weird betrayal towards the end with like still half an hour to go though and then he goes and saves the day with some renaissance stuff i mean all these movies they're really just the same it's just like well, one was in the Vatican, one was in uh, Istanbul, and the other one was in England, so what can you do? Also, the editing in this movie is terrible. It's terrible. It's just really, really bad. You, you don't understand this editing. Like, in the first act, it's always like it hit with Robert Langdon hit with these flashbacks and, like, try him trying to remember it, or, like, there's a loud sound and all of a sudden he breaks down, and you just kind of go... Oh, that's, mmm, that's really hurting my eyes and my head, and I don't like it. And that's just what makes it one of the, probably one of the f worst first acts of the year. That was, that editing is just atrocious. And then there's just the clunky dialogue that the editor did not find a way to get around, and there just, just doesn't seem to be any chemistry between any of the actors. They're just kind of rehearse, reciting lines to each other, and it's just like, yeah, that's cool. Give us something a bit better, please. And that's just a terrible script. Terrible, terrible script. Anyway, Inferno, it does have its moments. I mean, some action set pieces are a little bit enjoyable, and you do learn a bit with about some, like, the Renaissance, and that's just something that I appreciated to take from that. Anyway, I would like to say Inferno, burn it with fire, just to be ironic. That would just be great. But instead, I'm just going to have to say Inferno, don't, don't want to touch it with a long pole. There are some elements that are enjoyable, but the majority of the movie is just not good at all. Have you seen Inferno? What did you think of it? What's your favourite movie out of the Robert Langdon trilogy? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to become one of the part of part, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh wow, you made it to the end of the video. Good job. How about you click that subscribe button for more content? Or click one of these two videos. You know. Either one's good enough.